Litchfield is like family. We're a little small in numbers, but we have the largest welcome mat. We have great things to do. We have a lot of outdoor activities. You can fish, you can bike, you can walk. In town, you have a very laid back lifestyle, slow pace, and then we also have great specialty shops, great little locally owned restaurants. So we have great things going on in Edgefield. We're full of history, hospitality, and fun things to do. Carolina Moon Distillery is a small batch a micro distillery located in Edgefield, South Carolina. We started in the moonshine business uh, about six years ago, yeah. Now we have a full line of spirits. Uh, we decided to expand our abilities and our productions and now we do vodka, gin, whiskey, bourbon, rum, and we still have our moonshines because that's what we started with. The craft of it is, uh, like I was saying, I mean, we're the, we're the smallest of the small. We are a very small batch. And you basically start with, with a grain, you uh, convert the starch into a sugar, then you start the fermentation process with yeast. We use a proprietary blend of yeast to give us the flavors that we want. Once the fermentation has started, four to five days later, we move it into the boiler tanks for the still, and that's when we consider it the fun part. Distilling actually is what we enjoy the most because you get to play with the equipment, adjust your temperatures, um, and, and watch it go. I think it blends right in with Edgefield. The history of Edgefield has been somewhat uh, colorful, I'll say. Uh, we've got our share of characters, and uh, Edgefield was also at one time known as kind of a rough and tumble place. Moonshining in spirits, whether people want to admit it or not, is kind of part of our texture, so it kind of fits right in. Edgefield is the gateway to Southern history. Edgefield, we had people coming here as early as the 1750s and 60s, settling here, coming down the Great Wagon Road, which you see right there. Uh, so they're flooding down here to get away from the French and Indian War in the north. They're also seeking religious tolerance, which is what South Carolina offered. It has such a diverse and rich history. And not only that, but it's so celebrated. We, we just, we love our history. We have the second most complete collection of courthouse records next to Charleston. Here we have an airtight vault, this climate control, where we keep 230 years of Edgefield's history kept locked away and safe. We have some incredible things, one of a kind items. Edgefield's history is unique. It's different from other towns because of the fact that it's so diverse. We have everything from the 10 governors and five lieutenant governors, a rich political history, to the military history, which we have men who fought in every major war from colonial to, to the present time. We have so many people coming and settling here. It's just a concentration of people. So it just made it a hotbed for political disputes. So we have all these political shootouts on the square. They claim that every square inch of our squares had blood shed upon it. And that if you want to commit murder and get away with it, you do an Edgefield, because Edgefield understands the idiosyncrasies of gentlemen. <laughs> I've always done work with my hands to begin with, and I hadn't noticed really any blacksmiths doing living history work. So I purchased a smaller anvil, a small forge, and just started teaching myself how to do some blacksmith work. Worked with a number of master smiths, and they helped me out in pieces and parts. For the most part, I'm self-taught, and just, it's progressed from there. I carry more equipment nowadays to reenactments and things, and learned more history of the blacksmith to go along with it. So it keeps things quite interesting. For the most part, my doors are open. I'm usually making items for sale. Of course, I can stop at any time, discuss the building, since the building is 100 years old. I'll turn it back into a somewhat of an older blacksmith shop. It's fun discussing the history of blacksmithing, the history of the shop, history of the shop in the town. It attracts quite a number of people. Edgefield, South Carolina is our town, and I'm very happy to be here. This is Edgefield, South Carolina. It's our town. This is Edgefield, this is our town. Come see our town. <laughs>